It's very important whether your audience is one, 100 or 1,000, that you connect to them emotionally. You do that three ways. First of all, with eye contact. And if it is a small audience around a boardroom table, you have piece of the pie eye contact. So you look at everybody for a thought, an idea, or a phrase. If it is a large audience, you do the same. And as Jerry Seinfeld said, play to the cheap seats first. If you connect with the people at the back or in the balcony, and they know you know they're there, they'll stay with you when you're interacting with people, it's easier to see. So the first way you emotionally connect is eye contact. The second way, very important, is with you-focused language. I recommend you transcribe or listen to a segment of content you've presented. And look at how many times you say I that you could actually make it more you-focused. If you work on the principle, nobody cares about you. They only care about themselves. You will never go wrong. So rather than say, I am going to talk to you about what I would like to talk about, why don't you say, in the next 30 minutes, you will learn. In this session, you will discover. Make it you-focused it will be incredible the difference the same message will have. And the third way you emotionally connect is through stories. Whether we know it or not, whenever we hear a story, we feel it's a treat, it's a reward. Because no matter what culture, we all grew up hearing, clean your teeth, get in your jammies, get into bed, mummy, daddy, grandmother, auntie will come tell you a story. We are programmed from early on that a story is a treat, a reward. When you perfect storytelling skills, all your conversations and presentations and business communications will be more effective. Remember, in your stories, there are formats and structures. We need to include stories that our audience can relate to. If you need help, give me a call or try out fripvt.com. That is Fripp, very interactive virtual training designed to help you be the speaker you were born to be.